Hello fellow customizers, today I'm customizing an onigiri or rice ball Dragon Ball Z holder. If you like watching these videos, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Also leave a comment down below as to what you are currently working on. I purchased this onigiri holder locally and the main selling point to me was the canvas that this is made of. I had no idea that it doubled as an onigiri heater also. It came with a USB plug that when plugged in starts a heating function inside. It does get very hot while plugged in, however it is still very warm outside. It is summer here in Japan, so a hot onigiri doesn't sound very appetizing. I chose these two images of Vegeta and Goku to paint on the sides of this rice ball holder. Painting the areas along the zipper first with Pale Blue from Angelus Direct. And a flat white base coat is just what I need to help my Sorol stencil better stick. There is an Amazon affiliate link to the blue Sorol transfer paper down below in the description. Starting on the Vegeta side first with Sapphire Blue. I am mixing the mid-tone of Vegeta directly on the canvas. It's a mix of Georgia Peach and Brick, both from Angelus Direct. If you feel more comfortable mixing a separate container, of course do so. I just wanted to get through this onigiri holder a little faster and decided to mix directly on the canvas. Adding the yellow on Vegeta's hair, I'm going to erase some of my blue chalk with a pencil eraser.
Goku's midtones exactly as I did Vegeta by mixing on the canvas. Outline time, and I am using navy blue and outlining with a Princeton Select size 18 short liner. in these Goku and Vegeta images I just painted with a matte acrylic finisher. And this is my rice ball or onigiri folder. Right now it is still too warm to take advantage of the heat function but winter is right around the corner. I will be hooking it up to a battery and I will be eating piping hot onigiri anywhere I choose to. If you have any questions reach out to me through my Instagram or my website. Both links are down below as are links to all the products I used in this video. Big thanks to Angela's Drake for the paints and thanks guys for watching.